Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a what I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of January 1st to the 7th of 2024. Yeah, I gotta get used to saying that. Happy New Year's, guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the messages. So we're gonna do the astro cards first. The tarot and then a oracle card okay all right so i hope y'all had a good holiday season and a good new year calendar look new year okay um so let's see what spirit has for the collective divine holy spirit oh what am i doing yeah let's bag it up so let's do the overall astro astrological overview okay so this year is going to start off with some both lazy and inspired vibes for everyone okay so some of y'all or some of us will still be wanting to sleep in uh from the holiday <laughs> relaxing and and letting our imagination roam free that'll be a good day to do that on monday on tuesday it's going to be a different story that's what i've been looking up about the um different things that are happening astrologically for the collective okay so Tuesday, like I said, it's going to be a different story. It's that back to work energy. You got to be on the go for those of y'all who are on the nine to five job or have a business. So you got to focus on getting back fired up or energized for work or creative endeavors. Okay. So Tuesday, the day will start off pretty slow, but it's going to be back to normal by like the evening time, the early evening time. Uh, on Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to be a perfect days for brainstorming and teamwork, okay? So let that be in the forefront of your mind, okay? Especially if you have to work on projects or anything with a group, okay? Uh, although you might have some ego clashes on Wednesday and Thursday, you should be able to get some things done on those two days. On Friday, you're going to be feeling like you can get a lot done, take advantage of the energy, before you feel worn out and drained okay on the weekend everything is going to look pretty good okay for the most part uh saturday will be good for socializing sunday uh will be good for working on art doing something romantic with your significant other or doing a getaway okay so saturday and sunday are good days okay try not to get too emotional if your plans don't go perfectly as you plan them just roll with the changes okay um tips to have a really great week don't push yourself to produce too much on monday or tuesday just go with the flow keep in mind that everybody's just trying to get their bearings abundant them from the holiday break okay it's okay to go slow it's okay to proceed with caution okay on monday and tuesday preserve your energy for the rest of the work week then when things pick up just like i told you go roll with the changes and, and and get into the groove of things as you see fit okay so the top astrological event of this week will be on monday mercury will be going direct on the first yay so the new year is going to stop start off with promising notes and then mercury uh is going to put it into indecision confusion Mercury going direct, that is. It's going to put an end to indecision, confusion, miscommunications, and all that stuff, okay? So, you can easily turn your attention or return your attention to planning out things for your New Year's resolutions. Just make it simple. Don't do nothing extravagant because most of the time when people do extravagant things or list extravagant things for their New Year's resolution, they never really get around to doing it. So, keep that in mind, okay? So, now let's get into the Astro cards. <laughs> okay. July Holy Spirit. What additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of January 1st to the 7th of 2024? Y'all, it's tempted to say 2023. Mm. Alright. January 1st to the 7th of 2024. Alright. see here we have Aquarius the innovator experimental rational unique liberal eclectic or electric I should say group oriented humanitarian free radical eccentric 
diverse, futuristic, utopian, idiosyncratic, disruptive, edgy, and detached. Hmm. The moon. Yes. Feelings. Instinct. Nurturing. Gut reactions. Comfort. Digestion. Home. Family. Conditioning. Habits. Femininity. Lineage. Privacy. Embodiment. Emotions. Sustenance. Uh, self-soothing moods mother so for those of y'all who are aware or unaware in this past december on the 26th we're coming off that full moon in cancer i believe it was so that energy is still going to be with us coming into the calendar new year okay so let's see here additional energies that the collective will be working with for january 1st to the 7th of 2024 Okay, we have ascended outlook, worldview, mission, statement, expression, affect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, likeness, approach, impact, first impressions. Okay. The numinous mystery, the unknown, the unknowable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmos, the universal truth, oneness source, the unnameable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other worlds, space, enigmas, the occult, intuition. So, yeah. Interesting stuff popping off this week. Okay, so... Okay, we have the eighth house, intimacy, investments, intensity, contracts, SEX, erotic capital, secrets, mysteries, obsessions, inheritance, kundalini energy, stalking in the underworld. So for a lot of y'all or some of y'all, you will be having a heightened psychic abilities or your intuition will be heightened. Things will be coming to you at a faster rate during this week. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Okay, interesting. All right. All right. And we have two final cards. The self and the 11th house. Physical body, outlook, self-image, life philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, and entry point. <laughs> Okay, and the 11th house, the edge, friendship, group act, group creativity, I should say. Remember, I was telling y'all about group uh, activities at work or even um, on the weekend will be good for you guys, like getting together with friends, romantic partners, whatever the case may be. Uh, festivals, discoveries, common goals, startups, rebellion, experimentation, and the future, okay? So, again, that's confirming about the weekend energy, about things being going a little bit better on the weekend, especially on um, Saturday and Sunday. So, keep that in mind. Overall energy, the energy going into next week. The sixth house, the craft. Work details, health, well-being, diet, service, daily rituals, contribution, organization, purification, skills, apprenticeship, method, okay? So some of y'all are honing your skills on something and it's going to pay off for you, okay? Or for some of y'all, y'all are getting into new things and you're learning more about something that is your, what you want to be your craft or a new hobby or a new uh, thing that you're interested in, okay? So let's get into this. As we split the deck, we have that Piscean energy with the hang muse, hang man, hang woman, and the ace of swords, okay? All right, so, Divine Holy Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective for the week of January 1st to the 7th of 2024? January 1st to the 7th of 2024. January 1st to the 7th of 2024. Use the background noise, y'all, if y'all heard that. All right. Uh, we 
we have justice. Okay, starting out the gates. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. Hmm. We have the Four of Swords. Yep. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. And, wow, finishing out the week, the Queen of Pentacles. Overall energy, the Two of Cups. So something is balancing out in your reality, in the cosmos, okay? Uh, emotionally within you, uh, in the spirit realm, within your life, take it how it resonates for you. But something is coming together, okay? All right. Now, with the Justice card here, this, again, reiterates the, the point of things being balanced. The karma has been cleared. The scales are being balanced in your favor. A lot of y'all are learning to move on from things in your past that no longer serve you that have, for some of y'all, have kept y'all bound up, okay, whether it be from previous lifetimes or this lifetime. I feel like as you are clearing that karma, now you've come out of the cocoon or the chrysalis state and you're being seen as the king or the queen of wands. Take it how it resonates for you. You're being people and uh, for some of y'all, animals are being more drawn to y'all and that's because they can see the glow up, okay, the spiritual work that you have been doing. This king or the queen of wands sitting here shows for some of y'all that things have, are going to be working out for you and you have a better outlook on how you see yourself now as opposed to how you saw yourself in the past okay with the four swords here i feel like this is all connected to you going within yourself and doing some i i know people hate to hear it but shadow work okay that's the only way that you can move forward on your journey well, one of the ways, I should say, shadow work, okay? That's a big part of it. Going within, knowing that you commune with your higher self, you commune with spirit and source to see how you can move forward on your journey that best suits you, okay? That, not that suits someone else, but what best suits you, okay, with the four swords, okay? For some of y'all, this is resting and taking better care of yourself. As a result of that, you're being opened up to your spiritual gifts, okay? You, like I said, you're getting spiritual downloads or creative ideas that inspire you to go for what it is that you want. In aligning with that, you guys can't make this stuff up. You're getting what it is that you deserve. It's the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles. Something is aligning for you within you and within the cosmos that is going to cause a significant upgrade for you guys i can't tell you what it is but whatever you're doing keep traveling that road you can see that person is on a bridge like he or she is traveling trying to get to where ever it is they're trying to get to and whatever it is you're doing whatever journey it is you're taking maybe it's your spiritual journey is going to pay off for you you got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles that's a match okay this is not a love reading but that's a match this is for some of y'all, I feel like a balancing out of your energy, your masculine energy and your feminine energy, because we all have that. And I feel like because you chose to do the work on yourself, because you chose to align with whatever it is you needed to align with, things are going really, really, or you're going to have that breakthrough that you really, really, really have been waiting on, okay, and have been working for and working towards, okay? Just saying. So let's see. Take that out. It resonates with you. One final card to wrap up the reading for the collective for January 1st to the 7th of 2024. Again, I hope you guys have a happy <laughs> calendar new year. And for those of y'all who know, you know, okay, what I'm talking about when I say calendar new year. All right. Some people say the new year starts on January 1st. Others says it starts in the springtime. Take it how it resonates for you, okay? Some people say it starts in February, okay? It's all about your perspective. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, okay. The crystal that you guys have is crystal price. I hope I said that right. It is all about prosperity. 
and it illuminates the heart chakra dark to light green blue green or yellow green so if you guys want to work with this crystal that'll be good to work with physical qualities aligns the heart chakra's energy with the solar plexus and throat chakras brings vitality counteracts exhaustion aids in general detox soothes digestive issues stimulates the liver helps filter the blood and regulate pulse strengthens muscles of the heart emotional qualities of this crystal brings an overall sense of well-being good fortune success and prosperity supports emotional calm and balance instills love joy hope and nurturing relieves anxiety boosts tolerance and self-esteem the um affirmation for this card is i am prosperous that's perfect going into a new year i am prosperous is a great affirmation okay if y'all want to get a screenshot of that that is <laughs> the crystal if y'all can find some of that to work with who cool. if not you can take a screenshot of this and work with the picture okay do some research on this crystal and that'll um help you to align with it and pretty soon you probably will come up on some of it or a way to buy some of it okay so that is all i have for the collective for the one i am feeling energy message for january 1st to the 7th of 2024 i hope you guys found something interesting in the reading that it was helpful and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to like share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and yeah check out the book like my dress rehearsal and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys